Today was a bit of a bad day. Started the morning with feeling confident that I would look at the calibration of the length because I know it's been making them a bit too long. Not excessively but annoyingly. So started looking at doing a calibration and I might have gone the wrong way in the beginning because at first it didn't really make a difference because I weighed, made very small changes but uh, it didn't really make a difference so I made a bigger one and it made it all worse. Because I wasn't really sure if to put in the value the machine had given me and the recorded value uh, what's the previous and the new value so I had a bit of an issue here and I think the conclusion was that you should put in the value the machine gives you uh, as the first value and then the new value is what you have recorded and there is a bit of uh, rot in the beginning of some of the logs but if you discard the first little piece they get healthy well some of them are rotten all the way from the bottom to the very top but depending on what they look like I've kind of figured out that some of them it might be good to discard a piece uh, bringing out the uh, last three the info on the length and doing measurements also found out that they have uh, made the uh, base log yeah there is deep snow underneath the branches so it's kind of quicksand or quick snow uh, eventually I got the calibration sorted out at least and uh, was happy with that it seems to make uh, them maybe a tiny bit too short every now and then for some reason here is one that's rotten all the way to the bitter end so that's off for boiling and becoming pulp uh, so I increased the uh, like over goal on on the logs in the price list a tiny bit to compensate for some of them being a tiny bit too short now to at least not miss the targets it's not perfect but that's what I'm going with I spent more time outside the machine than inside it this uh, first half of the day it feels like he had a minus on the length for the first log for some reason I don't have any like uh, roots sticking out on the trees here so I removed that uh, uh, minus point and it seems to work with the measurements I've done it, uh, uh, yeah I went up and down a tiny bit here and there and for now it seems to work I've measured a couple of more later on during the day and most of them are spot on or tiny bit too short they might be a bit too long when it goes down to the very thin dimi dimensions where we're down in the pulp section but then the length is not that important anymore as the day progressed it started throwing the chain off ever every other cut it felt felt like now it might not have been that bad so out clean up the saw bar and uh, try to bring the chain back in place something is not up with the chain tensioner or something's wrong with the chain tensioner I actually called the tech guy at Komatsu and got a suggestion to look at some uh, I'm not sure if it's a one-way valve or a 
to hold supposed to hold the chain tension my dad was doing great work holding out uh, what was processed we had some fighter jets flying over us they do have exercise area above my property every now and then so decided well I had decided earlier to bring it back to the garage and look at lubing things up because it's a little bit cold now and the grease gun tends to not work that well when it's cold so uh, uh, but now we need to look at that valve for the, the saw chain also the tension eventually when it uh, threw out the chain one final time I called it the day and headed for the garage took some more measurements to the watch the other day also and seems to be holding out fine as I said uh, when you get down to the very thin diameters it might be a little bit off but it doesn't really matter by that time back close to the garage I try to remove some of the ice from the harvester head and then brought it inside to start looking at it and Here I'm shipping ice inside, uh, that might be helping, I had ice build up at the top there, that could have been pushing the chain off, maybe that's the issue. Also found that the forwarder seems to be pushing out coolant, maybe at the uh, cylinder heads uh, and then bringing out the valve for the chain, chain tension nothing seems wrong he talked about the uh, little uh, washer with a slot in it that I couldn't really see sadly I missed the footage of putting it back together but the greasing of the harvester head that went okay at least I had removed the ice from some areas and replaced a couple of grease fittings that were a bit damaged around the saw bar that probably for from it throwing the chain off every now and then today <laughs> 